Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my channel. In previous episode I showed you how to install and how to set up Pi Hole on your Zima board. And now we are going to make one step further. I am going to show you how to create your local DNS and how to use it with Pi Hole. So first let me explain where we are standing now. I am going to go to settings, then DNS and in here uh, you see that I have uh, all of upstream DNS servers selected. Now I'm going to back to the system and now uh, restart DNS resolver, flush network table and flush logs. I want to start a new, then go to dashboard, okay. Now I'm going to open another tab and I'm going to navigate to cnn.com. Okay, now go back and you see that we have some result. And down here you have uh, some uh, data categorized. And now I want to show you how to install uh, Bind9 uh, DNS server on your Zima board. So for that purpose, I'm going to uh, use uh, my own uh, terminal and we are going to SSH, SSH, KST and IP address of my Zima board. I'm going to provide my password. Now all you have to do in order to install Bind9 is to type sudo apt install bind 9 provide your password and wait until it's done now when that is done we have to solve few things so first i'm going to type systemctl status system d result and as you see my uh, systemd resolved it's dead inactive this is necessary in order bind 9 to work and if your systemd resolver is working then you are going to type sudo systemctl stop systemd resolved and when that command is execute instead of stop you are going to use disable systemd resolved. I don't have to do that because uh, my uh, systemd resolved is already dead. Now next thing that we have to do is to uh, edit one file. So I'm going to uh, sudo nano we go to etsy folder bind and then named conf options no <laughs> i mistyped so once again sudo nano etc now bind named conf options now in this file make sure that uh, you have uh, these two ip addresses in forwarders and these two IP addresses belong uh, to Cloudfire DNS and Google DNS. So go down and in here what you uh, need to be uh, sure is that uh, you have one line that says listen on port uh, and then choose any port that you like. Uh, but it's important uh, not to be port 53 and also not to be any uh, port that is already in use. And then in squarely brackets type any. So what is this line for? With this line we are going to make sure that our uh, DNS is going to work uh, on uh, port 10,000. Also set a query source uh, to port 10,000 and then a low query. With uh, this uh, word any uh, within squiggly brackets uh, you are saying that you are allowing queries uh, from any IP address. So now listen on v6. This means that we are listening uh, with uh, IP version 6 addresses. But with empty scope uh, with these uh, squiggly brackets. We are saying that we are not going to listen uh, with IP version 6. This is also important. Uh, so uh, now I'm going to exit from uh, this document. And now I'm going to restart uh, bind 9 with sudo systemctl restart bind 9. Okay, and sudo systemctl status bind 9. I want to see that everything is 
fine, all right. And I want to check ports with sudo netstat tenop grep 10,000. Ah, I forgot about grep, <laughs> sorry. Sudo netstat tenop grep 10,000. Okay, let me see. Uh, our Zima board is on uh, IP address of 26 and we have we are listening on port 10,000. All right, so this is fine. I don't need this terminal anymore. I want to show you another thing. Go to uh, PyHole, uh, these three dots and settings. As you can see, with uh, PyHole, we are listening on port uh, 53, both uh, with TCP and UDP protocol. And this protocol is used for DNS service. And PyCall needs to be able to receive requests to this port. That means if you with bind 9 or with any other service use a port 53, PyCall would not be able to work properly. And by the way, you would not be able even to start it. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to restart PyCall so you would see that everything works properly. We are fine. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to open PyCall again. All right. Now go to uh, settings, go to DNS, uncheck all of these providers. Select custom one with IPv4. Now I'm going to type IP address of my Zima board. So it's 192.168.0.26 hashtag and now provide the port number uh, where your uh, bind the nine uh, DNS server it's listening so it's 10,000 okay now save it go to system and restart everything flush network table okay uh, no 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 this flush logs all right All right, now I'm going to open my dashboard and soon we should start seeing some queries. Now, what you should know, every time when you first time access some website, it's going to be slower. But later on, after caching, it's going to become much faster. And as you see, we have some queries. Uh, first, I'm going to navigate to, for example, yahoo.com. And as you can see, it's uh, slower. Although my uh, internet speed is uh, quite good. You see it's slower. And let's try with something like Yandex.com. All right, but now if we uh, go back to Yahoo, for example, after caching, this is going to be much faster. And now let me show you uh, what we have in here. You see that most of queries uh, are uh, received uh, to this address, so uh, address uh, of our Zima board and port 10,000, port uh, when it's listening our bind uh, 9 DNS server. And let me show you what we are going to have in here. So we have uh, all of these uh, domains result. What else? Yandex. Okay, we have everything. So guys, that's all for this episode. I hope that you learned something new, something interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.